Bueno, amigos, qué placer. Estamos con Mario Barrios, que va a una pelea importantísima a defender su faja de las 140 libras contra Gerbonta Davis en Atlanta, un lugar que es muy cercano a Gerbonta. My friends, we are here with Mario Barrios, who is going to defend his title, 140 pounds against Gerbonta Davis. A very tough fight for you, my friend. Um, what was your third reaction when, when you knew that you were going to fight Gerbonta? I, I, was, uh, I was pretty surprised when, uh, when, when his name was brought up. Um, it wasn't a fight that I was expecting to hear, but, um, you know, it was, that's the type of fight, you know, that, you know, well, one, I, I, I never turned down a fight, but, you know, especially, you know, a name like that. Um, so, I mean, you know, as soon as, you know, we, we heard that they had wanted to fight, I was like, man, you know, let, let's, um, let's make it happen. It's very surprising because he was champion at 130, then uh, 135, then he moved to 130, and 130 to 140. It doesn't seem strange to you? Um, I don't think so. Um, you know, he, he, he's trying to you know, get uh, titles in multiple divisions, you know. It, it, it makes sense. But, um, you know, yeah, I mean, but, you know, now, you know, he has to face me on the, the, the 26th. If I'm not mistaken, uh, you were fighting in the same car when he fought Leo Santa Cruz. What did you learn from that fight? What did you saw from the fight that you can use for the fight? Uh, we saw that, you know, that, um, there is, you know, some openings, you know, in his defense and everything. But, um, you know, there, there's a lot that we were able to take away from, from that fight. And, um, but, you know, we're, we're working on, on everything in, in the gym. Now, Atlanta, I was in Atlanta for his fight against New York East Gamboa. And let me tell you that the crowd was going to be shooting for him. Mm. How can you see the, 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 the Atlanta town for him? I, I mean, I'm, I'm excited to be here. Uh, you know, this is the first time I, I have ever fought here. Um, I've, I've fought in a, in a lot of new places before, you know, where, you know, I've, um, I've gained, uh, you know, a lot of fans. And, uh, you know, I have no doubt, you know, on the 26th, you know, that, even though he, he might have a bigger audience, you know, when, when, when I leave the fight, you know, I'm going to have, you know, a lot of fans cheering for me. And also, he's the pretty boy of Floyd Mayweather. He's backing up. Uh, the, the company is backing him. So do you feel that you have to win him convincingly in order to do not lead to the judges? No, yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, you know, we... Uh, we know, you know, especially with, with them, you know, being um, with the money team, you know, we don't we don't want to leave it, anything up to to the judges, uh, you know. So we're gonna try to, you know, dominate in the, in the fight. What it means to you if you drink a little bit? What it means to you to beat Garbonta Davis for the rest of your career? This this is gonna be you know huge. This um, a win over Gervonta Davis, you know is one of my, you know, biggest accomplishments, you know, um, even, you know, with, uh, with, with winning the, the title and everything, I don't know whether you like Davis or not, you know, he has uh, one of the biggest names in boxing. So, the, you know, this is a fight, you know, that can, you know, put my name up there, you know, where, you know, even if you're not a boxing fan, you're, you're going to hear about Mario Barrios. Mario, your nickname is El Azteca, uh, the Mexican warrior. Why, and, and tell me, how is the pride that you feel for your roots? No, I've, I've always felt, you know, strong pride, you know, with, with my roots. I've always, you know, uh, represented, you know, being, being a Mexican fighter, you know, proudly. You know, so when I chose the name El Azteca, you know, I wanted a name, you know, that was going to, you know, capture, you know, the warrior that I am, you know, because at the end of the day, tengo puro sangre Azteca. And tell me a little bit, uh, how was your bringing, your, your coming up, your life as a kid? How was your life? Uh, it was well, way different than now, <laughs> you know. But, um, it, man, um, I, I have always had, you know, a tremendous support system. You know, my mom was the reason why me and my older sister started boxing. Uh, she took us to the East Side Boys and Girls Club. Uh, we didn't, you know, we, we didn't have a lot growing up. 
uh, you know, so, um, you know, there, there, was, there was a lot of struggles, you know, that, that, that kept me humble. And, um, but yeah, no, I mean, um, I'm thankful for, for the sport of boxing, you know, because of boxing, I've been able to give my family a life, you know, and just live a life that I never thought that I would be able to live. Well, El Atega, take care my friend and good luck to you in your fight against Garbonta. Thank you. I appreciate you, amigo. Thank you so much.